René Goscinny. René Goscinny was a French comic editor and writer of Polish descent, who is best known internationally for the comic book Asteri, which he created with illustrator Albert Uderzo, and for his work on the comic series Lucky Luke with Morris and his knockout with Jean Tabry. He also authored a series of children's books known as La Petit Nicolas series. Goscinny was born in Paris in 1926, to a family of Jewish immigrants from Poland. His parents were Stanislaw Simka Goscinny, a chemical engineer from Warsaw, Poland, and Anna Berezniak Gosina from Kotorkow, a small village near Zydomirz in the Second Polish Republic. Claude, Rene's older brother was born six years earlier, on December 10, 1920. Stanislaw and Anna had met in Paris and married in 1919. The Gossinis moved to Buenos Aires, Argentina, two years after Rena's birth, because of a chemical engineer post Stanislaw had obtained there. He spent a happy childhood in Buenos Aires, and studied in the French schools there. He had a habit of being the class clown, probably to compensate for a natural shyness. He started drawing very early on, inspired by the illustrated stories which he enjoyed reading. In December 1943, the year after he graduated from school, 17-year-old Goussigny lost his father to a cerebral hemorrhage, forcing him to find a job. Doubt the next year, he got his first job, as an assistant accountant in a tire recovery factory, and when he was laid off the following year, he became a junior illustrator in an advertising agency. Goussigny, along with his mother, left Argentina and went to New York in 1945, to join her brother Boris. To avoid service in the U.S. military, he traveled to France to join the French army in 1946. He served at Aubagne, in the 141st Alpine Infantry Battalion. Promoted to senior corporal, he became the appointed artist of the regiment and drew illustrations and posters for the army. The following year, he illustrated the book The Girl with the Eyes of Gold and returned to New York. On his arrival Goussigny went through the most difficult period of his life. For a while, he was jobless, alone and totally broke. By 1948, though, he recovered and started working in a small studio where he became friends with future Mad Magazine contributors Will Elder, Jack Davis, and Harvey Kurtzman. Goscinny then became art director at Kuhn and Publishers where he wrote four books for children. Around this time he met two Belgian comic artists, Joseph Gillen, better known as Jitch, and Maurice de Bevere, a.k.a. Morris, the cartoonist and author of the series Lucky Luke. George's Trois Fontaines, chief of the World Press Agency, convinced Goussigny to return to Paris and work for his agency as the head of the Paris office in 1951. There he met Albert Uderzo, with whom he started a long time collaboration. They started out with some work for Bon Soirées, a women's magazine for which Goussigny wrote Sylvie. Goussigny and Uderzo also launched the series Jihan Pistolet and Luke Jr. and La Libre Jr. In 1955, Goussigny, together with Uderzo, Jean Michel Charlier, and Jean Hebrid, founded the syndicate Eta Press slash Eta France. The syndicate launched publications like Clarion for the Factory Union and Pistolin for a Chocolate Company. Goussigny and Uderzo cooperated on the series Bill Blanchard in Chanel, Pistolin and Pistolin and Benjamin at Benjamin in the magazine of the same name. Under the pseudonym Augustini, Goussigny wrote Le Petit Nicolas for Jean Jacques Sempay and Le Moustique and later sued West and Pilote magazines. In 1956, Goussigny began a collaboration with Tintin magazine. He wrote some short stories for Joe and Janet and Albert Weinberg, and worked on Senior Spaghetti with Dino Adonacio, Monsieur Trick with Bob Demore, Prudence Petipas with Maurice Maréchal, Global Immersion and Alphonse with Tibet, Strapontin with Berk and Modesta at Pompon with André Franquin. An early creation with Uderzo, Umpapa, was also adapted for serial publication in Tintin from 1958 to 1962. In addition, Goscinny appeared in the magazines Paris Flirt and Valiant. In 1959, the Eta France slash Eta Press syndicate started the Franco-Belgian comics magazine Pilote. Goscinny became one of the most productive writers for the magazine. In the magazine's first issue, he launched his most famous creation, Osteri, with Uderzo. The series was an instant hit and remains popular worldwide. Goussigny also restarted the series Le Petit Nicolas and Jihan Pistolet, now called Jihan Supolet. Goussigny also began Chocolat Mousse and Tromblin at Bataclou with Goddard. The magazine was bought by Georges Dargo in 1960, and Goussigny became editor-in-chief. He also began new series like Les Divagations de Monsieur Saitout, La Patacologie Illustrée, Les Dingo Dossiers and La Forêt de Chenabeau. With Tabari, 
he launched Kali Karun El Chasan record, a series that was later continued in The Lotus's Knockout. With Raymond Mesherit he created Pantiful for Spiru. Gusani married Gilbert Palaro Millo in 1967. In 1968 their daughter Anne Gusani, who also became an author, was born. Gusani died at 51, in Paris of cardiac arrest on November 5, 1977, during a routine stress test at his doctor's office. He was buried in the Jewish cemetery of Nice. In accordance with his will, most of his money was transferred to the chief rabbinate of France. After Gusani's death, Uderzo began to write Asterix himself and continued the series, although at a much slower pace, until passing the series over in 2011 to Jean-Yves Ferry and Didier Conrad. Tabri similarly began to write his knockout himself, whereas Morris continued Lucky Luke with various other writers. In a tribute to Gusani, Uderzo gave his likeness to one of the characters in Modice d'Asterix. Since 1996, the René Goscinny Award is presented at the yearly Angoulême International Comics Festival in France as an encouragement for young comic writers. According to UNESCO's Index Translation M, Goscinny, as of August 2017, was the 20th most translated author, with 2,200 translations of his work. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.